People die, yeah? I'm just experimenting how it can kill you yeah. on a serious note. Oh, go and cut and go and use it. Oh, wow. That's how it was. Is there anything you want to go and you can Yes. Mbampe. Ah, what will be? Oka kasa. Yes. Oh God. Hey, it's pressing me. Are you taking my pics? Hey, come and help me. <laughs> come and help me. Go to God. Oh my God. Oh. Hey, hey, go and bless us, sir. So go join us. <laughs> My God. Uh -huh. Beaver Farm Access Building. Beaver is located in different districts. That's Lugazi, Mbale, uh, Luero. You just go there, get your medicine, and become health and fit, like me, as I've done it. So, Beaver is located is, uh, on 0752602427. Just go there, enjoy, and then get your health facilities on organics only. Even on Facebook, Beaver is on Facebook. It's just nice. Man. Wow. It smells like fish, eh? Ah, I, I don't know. Can anyone try it? Wow. Just take me some pics. If this is a man. Wow, I just want to take my snaps. As if I'm not breathing there. This is the way it can... Uh, uh. Mm, very good. Wow. I'm just experiencing how... Oh. Oh, man, it is, it is so, it is so fierce. Yes. Ah, uh, what will be? Yes. Okay, uh, we are on Wasa Emma YouTube channel and uh, Trust Media Uganda. My name is Wasa Emmanuel, as usual. I'm with a Mr. Lawrence Rutaya. Lawrence Rutaya. We are at uh, the Reptile Village, uh, the, no the so known uh, Snake Park, Uganda. We are located on Interval Road. So we had come here to visit and see how these uh, reptiles survive. Both of you have so we make how many? We normally have uh, uh, different species okay. because at times we normally get them. I cannot like uh, give you the exact figure, okay. but um, because most of the time we get them and release them, get them and release them. To release them? Yes. Where? In um, national parks. You give national parks? Yes. Oh, that's good. Uh -huh. So we normally get them from the community. Okay. Our work, or the work of this place, mm -hmm. is to rescue those innocent reptiles. Okay. Not only even reptiles, mm -hmm. but those innocent animals. Okay. Then, after we normally, for uh, if it is a reptile or a snake, we keep we keep it here for a short period of time. It depends. Okay. Then after we have to release it in a place where we know that that place is very safe. For the animals. No, here you just rehabilitate. Yes. Okay. So because very many of our people here, okay. they all they normally fear reptiles. Mm. When you talk of a reptile, they don't want to know. Okay. So for us, our work is to get them from community, and we keep them here for a short period of time. Then we release them like in gazetted places like national parks. Okay. And game reserves. So here we are in uh, the python house. Yes. How many snakes are here? So now here so far we have four of them. Four of them? Yes, and they are all juvenile, all their babies. They are still young? Yes. These big ones? Yes, because the African rock python, it is the biggest snake on the 
in Africa, yes, we relate it to anaconda, although we don't have anacondas here okay. in mm. Uganda mm. or in Africa at large. Mm. So we normally we call the African rock python as anaconda. Okay. Uh, because it is the biggest, because when it is fully grown, mm -hmm. it can be in a length of 9.8 meters. 9.8 meters? Yes. In our simple terms, one meter is having three feet. Yes. About 40 sat. Yeah, 40 sat. Then, which means that nine meters for a snake. Yes. Those are 27 foot. Almost exactly. a plot. Yes. So, and it can weigh over mm -hmm. 100 kilograms. A full bag? Yes. Okay. So that is the one which is really fully grown. So when you look at ours, the one we have, mm -hmm. you could think that they are fully grown, but they are still babies or they are juvenile mm -hmm. in breed. Yeah. Like what is the size of that one? I'm seeing um, the, one of them. The actually, biggest. the biggest is five, uh, five uh, meters. Those are 15 feet? Yes. Okay, so someone would, you would just love to, to know that what, what do they feed on? What do you give them? Uh, basically, uh, when they are here, mm. we all normally buy live prey like chicken or rabbit according to the size. Yes. That is what we normally give. Do you first boil the chicken? No. Mm. We give them live animals. Live animals? Yes. And like, they battle with them? Yes, because anytime we have to leave them in nature, so no one is going to be there like... Cooking for them? Yes. And actually snakes, they don't eat like cooked food. Mm. They normally eat raw food. So like how many chicken can you give per snake? Maybe uh, per day or per week? Actually, because of avoiding competition for food or fighting for food, we normally, uh, we, one, uh, actually we feed them once a week. With, it depends on the type, on the number of the animals we have in a cage. Mm. Like now we have four of them. We put like uh, eight chicken so that they don't fight for food. Each, each one takes two? Yeah. Or one can take three. It depends. You so, can decide to put like eight and only two can eat and when the list are still uh, full. So if I'm to ask yeah. that uh, what is the time of them eating? Like if it eats on Monday, yeah. how long does it take for it to eat again? Yeah, basically it will depend on the bones of a certain prey. Mm. Uh, if it's like a rabbit, it means it will take a week to be digested. Because you know for them they don't like chew like we human, they just swallow everything and they leave the work to the to the stomach. Uh, yes. So that's why they normally take a week. If a small goat, it can take like uh, two or three weeks mm. uh, to a month to digest. So which means that feeding them is not so expensive like that. Because if it feeds only one rabbit for a week, mm -hmm. then um, if, if it's a small goat a month, then it, it can be a bit easier. It is expensive because these days uh, to get like a chicken, mm. you have to be with uh 30 to 35,000 around there okay for chicken mm. so you end up like to feed them like a man okay so it means when you have money you, have, you need to have money yes so this is uh, uh we are we, okay you, you guys who are still watching us we are at the reptile village uh on interior road you can take some of our people to come and see the things exactly tell them um I call upon all our clients to mm. come and view us or visit us in this place of uh, Uganda Reptile Village. We normally open from Monday up to Sunday, 360 degrees. Okay. Uh, we normally open up in the morning, 7.30 mm. okay. up to 6.30 mm. in the evening. Mm. Yes, in this place of ours, we have a variety of reptiles. Okay. Some of them, you can get a chance of holding them, like you can get a chance of holding chameleons. Um, pythons, uh, tortoises, others you can just view them from a far distance or you can view them from a zero distance because not all places that you can where you, you go normally mm. you can come closer to the certain animal and see all the features on it but when you visit us in this place of ours uh, you get all those services and normally you have to move with a guide so that guide um, he has to explain you each and everything. Okay. Yes. So what is the gestation period for this uh, python to produce? Nine, and how does it produce? 90 days. Normally they lay eggs. They lay eggs? Yes. They so lay eggs up to, from 75 up to 100. So can you get all those, uh, those 100 eggs with the kids? Yeah. Um, basically in a free range, mm. uh, they always do that. So 
uh, times you could find just their babies when the mom has like he has gone somewhere or he has run away like four kilometers away from the babies because during that time uh, he doesn't eat anything okay struggling for so that the babies can hatch very well mm. so after like that is a time when he's not eating anything mm. that is what I'm trying to mean okay so uh, he can be attempted to eat the babies mm. so he had to run away mm. so that he can feel like these babies are safe because he can attempt to eat them because that's the time when he's very hungry okay yes what is it doing there uh it is trying to defend itself because it us is here. not normal mm. um that it always have people inside in it in Croatia. so it is it is it wants to to, uh, to take over you or me and uh, no it uh, is try to protect itself because it snakes they fear people more than the way how we fear them uh, that's why it is now respecting us it is not attacking us. Mm. That is what we have to tell people. That snakes, they fear them more than the way how we fear them. So, the moment you give it respect, mm. it will not attack you. It can only attack you when it is the only option it has. Mm. Yeah, that is the time a snake can attack you. So, uh, I'm seeing this car thing here. Yeah. It is for? That's a hook. A hook. Basically, those are one of our gadgets we use like when we are trying to get a snake. Okay. Yeah. So how do you protect yourself? Because, man, isn't it poisonous? Um, African rock python, first of all, it is not venomous. Uh, it's a constrictor in the nature. Although mm. it can do the bite, okay. it can strike like half a meter. Mm. Uh, it can do the bite. It has over 100 fangs, 50 up, 50 down. Okay. So, and they are hooked. So in the case, if you get bitten, it can create a wound mm. on you, okay. but you don't need to somersault mm. or to panic a lot that it has injected venom in you. Okay. It's among the snakes which are not venomous. Okay. Yeah. So for it, in nature, it's a constrictor. Mm. It just uh, squeezes you, the more you breathe, it squeezes you until you give up mm. or until you die. Then after it makes you straight, then it swallows I'm you. I'm just explaining how it can kill you yeah. when it's just not. Oh, gunku tenno, gunku tenno. oh. Wow, that's a good Yes. According to what I'm seeing, that one. Yeah. Now they're that biggest size. Yeah. Can it squeeze you? Yeah, it can squeeze me, mm. uh, but it cannot kill me. Why? Uh, because I'm very stronger than it. Oh, it's the Afunafu. Yes, Afunafu. Mm. But go you like three times than that. Mm. It can kill me. No, because you look Yeah, because you will walk a man, you a prize. You walk a man, so you will walk a it says that the best way to defend yourself about a python from a python yeah. is to fake death. Yes, because you will walk a praying a man, na yungi. A praying a man. Mm. So at times, Kaseba and Atena could take a Kachira Kuano Kunindo. It's better, Wobanga to so good day, Kula Jena Funa Guyambi. It's better no college in Kuichu. So good Wolekera or Kuruana, Yakuru was a mutual musi over its solution. Okay. Because um, Python, they are well known to swallow something times their weight. Yeah. Uh, Chuvola were Malokumira. He, he coiling up somewhere mm. for some good period of time until that food get digested because okay. that is the time when it is very heavy. Mm. Uh, so that that food get, get digested, then it continues the moving. Okay. Yes. That is it. We are here. We are still at uh, the snake, uh, the reptile village. You still have so many to to, to, to show us. Yes. I think so. Exactly. We are going to be seeing. Uh, I'm seeing uh, the cobras there. Yeah, we have different types of cobras so far. Okay. Right now, as I talk, we have three types of cobras. You're going to see them? Yes, okay. I don't know for you, you know how many, but in this place, we mm. have three um, types of cobra and they are very unique. Okay, yes. let's just leave this place because I'm just scared of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay.
My neck, wow, this is how people die, yeah? I'm just experimenting how it can kill you yeah. on a serious note. Oh, going to tend to go Oh, wow, that's a good boss. If you're going to sing a good one, you're going to sing a good one. Yes, I'm going to sing a Yes, oh, God, hey, it's pressing me. Are you taking my pics? Hey, come and help me. <laughs> <laughs> come and help me. Go to God. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, hey, go to God, sir. Look at your tassie! Look at your tassie! Ah, my God! Uh -huh. okay. Beaver from Access Building. Beaver is located in different districts. That's Lugazi, Mbale, uh, Luero. You just go there, get your medicine, and become health and fit, like me, as I've done it. So, Beaver is located is, uh, on 0752602427. Just go there, enjoy, and then get your health facilities on organics only. Even on Facebook, Biva is on Facebook. It's just nice, man. Wow. It smells like fish, eh? Ah, I, I don't know. Can anyone try it? Wow. Just take me some pics. If this is be man. Wow, I just want to take my snaps. As if I'm not breathing it. This is the way it can uh, uh. Mm, wow. I'm just expressing how oh Oh, man, it is, it is so, it is so fierce. Yes. 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 Yes.